a lovely view of Shrewsbury on uh, the 7th of December. Isn't that beautiful out there? Anywho, we have Fred's board in. It's uh, one of the newer types and unfortunately we've hit that snag again. Um, so, as we can see it's started up. Now on his unit, uh, the sticker on the on the actual unit says 17, 18, 19. Well, uh, that's not what the software says. So this board doesn't actually belong to this heater, and it's no surprise because it's spray painted silver. It was probably purchased as a, a refurbed unit off eBay. Maybe I'll have to speak to him and see what where he got it from. Um, however. Monumental problem again with this type of board. We go into shutdown. We can. Uh, I've, I've run it a few times and the counters have stopped counting. When it turned up, it had uh, a fault code of uh, flame detected before um, combustion, but also. Uh, UEHFL overheat marker was there and strangely enough it deleted the fault so we'll allow it to go through burnout and as soon as the machine gets to 55s I'll stop the noise with the fans now um, what it appears to be is if you have this type of board The, shall we say newer board that I believe they're dying the CPUs are dying on them so the EEPROM is built into the CPU uh, as they all are um, and I think the heat is is getting them so uh, we're at 54 now I can stop some of the noise So there we are, we're in cooling three now, we're just coming down. Uh, on the graphs as well, it's, uh, it's very wavy, very wobbly. Uh, I don't believe there's a circuit fault. The power factor correction cap is good. The the board is is good, but um, the CPU, well, there's there's nothing that can be done. If you remember from the previous video of a CPU swap, which was on one of these boards, luckily I had a board that had had damage in other ways that couldn't be repaired, but the CPU was good, so. That was uh, swapped over for a customer, and that board is all luckily back up and running. But here we are, two weeks later, same board, same faults. So we'll just let it finish uh, its cooling mode, and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So the start count isn't advancing, the working hours are not advancing the operating hours are not moving so there we are we're off okie dokie so what I'll do now is just instantly cut power to the rig there we go and as you saw there was no fault nothing wrong back on with power reinitialize And there we go, flame was detected prior to combustion. The fault is back and can't be deleted. So we'll just do a quick delete the old, it's hard to do through the camera, delete the old fault code. There it is, as far as we're concerned, it's gone. We'll do a power cycle again. Back on with the power, 
reinitialize the board. And our fault is back. So unfortunately, the EEPROM in this CPU has died. And as we know from watching the other video, it still thinks it's diesel at the minute. Um, but it's, it's not advancing. So unfortunately, this CPU is going the same way. It's th th this type of CPU that Webasto have used in this type of board obviously is cheaper than the bigger Motorola ones and it's just not it's not going to last like some of these bmw ones uh, rover ones the original ones you know they're 30 years old now uh, I, I have bmw boards in for reprogramming all the time you got to think that um the eprom is a collection of transistors as switches as gates to um you know give the stream of zeros and ones and they've been programmed and locked in that state for 30 years and then I come and pro reprogram them and they take a program absolutely fine they reprogram fine uh, we never touch wood had a bad CPU on one of them or anything so unfortunately seeing as there's there's nothing that can be done there's no program for this type of board there's there's no no way to give it say an external memory an external EEPROM or anything like that it's all, it's all built in so unfortunately on these newer style boards the CPUs are dying so if you have um, a Webasto that's mission critical um, then I, if you have these board get a better board and by all means if it's a mission critical one uh, it's always a good idea to send it to me and I can uh, verify, replace a few components and the capacitors and all that good stuff. Uh, so, yeah, now I'm going to have to tell Fred that unfortunately this board can't be fixed. Uh, also, a bad thing is, uh, I must mention, is please stop buying these rebuilt ones off eBay they're absolutely disgusting they're terrible jobs so I will show you the unit as well and what what an atrocious uh, an atrocious attempt at a rebuild they're not really rebuilt you're paying I don't know 300 pound plus for somebody to clean it out and spray paint it silver basically but yeah this one's a bit of a Frankenway basto I will I will show you that you just remember that the software hardware is 06090907 so um, yeah and um, I'll take you over to the body now Okay, so we're at the body now, how it came in its box. Obviously, the uh, board is upstairs. You've just seen that. So this is a rebuilt one. Um, whether he got it from eBay or wherever, um, I do not know. Uh, I'll, I'll have to inquire and ask him. Um, you can see the, the corrosion here. But when we read the sticker... You can see it says 17, 18, 19. So the body doesn't match the board nowhere near. So I think what what some of these people on eBay do is they round up a collection of all these. Um, they swap and muddle them about, and oh, just, it's just it's just atrocious. Um, you can clearly see. Ooh, Fred, you can clearly see um, the, the spray paint on the pump wire there, um, and if you look closer, you, you can see it. the uh, worst thing. is you can actually make out i haven't got the best camera but you can make out the spray paint and it even got in there and god knows what that is it would need scraping out it's really bizarre um if you notice which is the worst thing um you shouldn't open this unless you know what you're doing but somebody if you see this little little like black bubbles 
that's actually like silicon coming away literally at the seams and they've put that much on that the actual gasket is welded to the body and there you go you can see all the silicon oozed out and it's actually glued the gasket to the body um, that is absolutely atrocious uh, the reason that they've probably done that and opened that is because they can't get the actual um, gaskets. They're not O-rings, they're actually like flat O-rings, so they're proper seals. Um, we can get them, but other people can't, so they just decide to bollock a giant amount of silicone around this when they put it back together. And For the average person cleaning it out, after you've opened the fan, you can access the burner. There's no reason to split this unless you do have a leak at the seal. Um, you can tell by the fan and the body, the colour and uh, the ageing sort of thing, and then that this uh, heat exchanger is, is a different part or was a different part, definitely. So um, this is what you're buying, is just bits bolted together um, and you're paying a hell of a lot of money for it. So. Unfortunately, I have to go tell Fred now that um, the, the, the board is dying and um, he spent a lot of money. He's, uh, he's, he's, he's changed a full burner. Uh, God knows how much that cost him uh, with glow plug. And then he went and bought a genuine glow plug again. So we're talking a few hundred pounds that didn't need to be spent, unfortunately. But this this is the way it goes, isn't it? Always contact the pro first. Um, it could save you a lot of money in the long run. Um, now off to give the bad news. Okay, a little quick update on Fred's board. Um, it was suggested to attempt to try and glitch it. So um, using the generator output on the oscilloscope, we're producing 8.1 megahertz. <clears throat> Now the board and its crystal runs at 8 megahertz, so we used increments of 0.2 megahertz up and we got to 8.1 megahertz and uh, something interesting has happened. So the board has no fault anymore, so we'll power cycle again. And there we are, we, we have no fault. However, it's not a fix. Um, the, oh, focus. The counters are, s focus. Focus. Good God, just to uh, clean that. Is that better? There we go. So um, the counters are still not advancing, I'm afraid. Um, so the glitch seems to have wiped the fault in the EEPROM. But if the counters are not advancing, then it, it's, it's still damaged. It was just a fluke to uh, erase the code, I'm afraid. Um, the counters have got to advance to show that the EEPROM is, is working and it, it's still not I'm afraid so it was a valiant effort but uh, yeah still dying <laughs>